Marvel's What If series has been an interesting endeavor that has given us a look into numerous alternate realities as well as timelines. We've been able to see multiple different variations of how certain events in the MCU could have played out, but it seems as if the latest episode might have thrown a curveball at the audience in its final moments. A curveball we're going to attempt to explain away, break down, and analyze. Spoilers for Marvel's What If Episode 7 lie ahead. The episode largely centers around a rowdy, bombastic Thor, who spends this time traversing the cosmos in search of the largest party that he can find. And while this episode was largely lighthearted and comedic, the final moments seemed to spell imminent detriment for the inhabitants of this new timeline. In the closing moments of the episode, we get a glimpse at a character that we will be dubbing Infinity Ultron. Infinity Ultron, from what we can see in these final brief moments, is an Ultron who seems to have been successful in creating his perfect body, the Vision, and it appears as if this version was able to successfully upload his consciousness to Vision's body, as well as collect all six of the legendary Infinity Stones. While this threat seems incredibly formidable, many fans were quick to point out the flaws in his creation, and how he seemingly should not be able to exist in this reality, which begs the question, who is Infinity Ultron? Where is he from? And what are his intentions? Well, stick with us, watchers of the Marvel Multiverse, because we believe we just may have the answer. The core of this theory comes from the Watcher's confusion in reaction to Infinity Ultron, which is the only moment in the What If series so far where the Watcher has been uncertain of anything. Up until this point, the Watcher has been our guide, taking us through these realities that he knows all too well. The Watcher has studied each of these different realities extensively, and he knows these timelines intimately, oftentimes even being unbothered by the events within them, even going as far as to let Strange Supreme destroy his own universe as a direct result of his arrogance. So why does the Almighty Watcher finally seem surprised for the first time in the What If series so far? The theory that we propose is that the Watcher is surprised to see Infinity Ultron on this timeline because he is simply not meant to exist on this timeline, and he may have actually been our first glimpse into interdimensional conquest, setting in motion that we could potentially see from the various kings of the multiverse who are set to make their debut in the MCU in the very near future. If Infinity Ultron is from a different timeline, and has cracked the science behind traversing different timelines, then this could have major implications for the future of the Marvel Cinematic Multiverse going forward. Before we delve into these implications, however, let's theorize as to the universe from where Infinity Ultron originated. The likeliest theory is that this being simply came from a reality in which Ultron not only won and defeated and killed the Avengers, but was the one to meet Thanos on his quest to obtain the Infinity Stones. If Thanos got his hands on the first four stones and then came to Earth to find the Time Stone and the Mind Stone, he may have been met by a defense system that he had not anticipated. In this alternate timeline, Ultron would have destroyed destroyed most of the human population, as well as all of the Avengers obviously, using the Sokovian Meteor to destroy most of all life on the planet. Upon defeating Thanos once he encountered him, Ultron could have collected the stones for himself, uploaded his consciousness into Vision's body, and continued his conquest, eventually cracking the science behind traversing timelines that are already in full effect. This could not only be our first introduction to the science behind traversing timelines, but could also lead to our heroes to discover a method of doing something similar in order to be able to match up with Kang and his armadas. Keep in mind we have not actually seen our heroes traverse through different timelines as of yet, if you stop to think about it. The events of Avengers Endgame didn't allow the Avengers to jump to different timelines. Instead, they jumped into the past or their own timeline and created a splintering branch that would become a deviant timeline as a result. Result. They did not directly jump into another timeline, although this very likely will change in Spider-Man No Way Home. Even the Loki series doesn't show our heroes jumping across the timelines until the closing minutes of the series. For the bulk of the show, the TVA remains contained to the sacred timeline and the very beginnings of splintered branches, but not a deviant timeline that has already redlined. When they jump onto a splintering branch, it is at the moment of the deviation, much like the Avengers, and while they very likely have the capability to jump onto branches that are already in progress, they have not yet been shown to do so. The only evidence we see 
see of our heroes jumping into a timeline that has already redlined, like this recent episode of What If, is when Loki arrives at a new TVA in the closing moments of the Loki finale. But even then, this has its issues. First off, this was completely unintentional, and Loki likely would not know how to navigate the different timelines very well, if at all. Secondly, the TVA exists outside of time, so it's entirely possible that his return to the TVA doesn't have anything to do with traversing different active timelines as is. If this Infinity Ultron, however, has the science of deciding which timeline to travel to, as well as exactly when on the timeline to jump into action, our heroes could theoretically use this technology to chase Kang throughout the multiverse and track down his whereabouts to any point on any timeline. This technology that Ultron has created could even be a precursor to the technology that Kang will eventually come to use. If the variant of Nathaniel Richards from one of these universes is able to reverse engineer this technology from Infinity Ultron, it could result in the first instance of a Kang jumping into the multiverse, and this event could be the direct catalyst for the creation of the Kang. Is it possible that Infinity Ultron is actually responsible for Kangs and his various counterparts? We know that Marvel has has an affinity for planting relevant details in seemingly innocuous places, and it stands to reason that any detail from the What If series could reasonably return with extreme importance in the upcoming future of the multiversal war. To summarize, however, we believe Infinity Ultron was created after he managed to destroy Sokovia and all of the Avengers and most of Earth's population along with it, achieving his goal in Avengers Age of Ultron. Following this, many of the Infinity Stones would still be located on Earth including the Time Stone, as well as the Mind Stone, meaning that when Thanos eventually arrived on Earth to collect the Infinity Stones, Ultron somehow outwitted or overpowered Thanos, managing to collect the four stones that Thanos had already previously collected for himself conquering his entire universe, and then moving on to others, not being satisfied with his conquests of a single reality. To us, this makes the most logical sense, as at this point in the timeline, Ultron would have not been created by Tony Stark as of yet, and it only makes sense that he originated from a different reality in a different timeline. But anyway my friends, what do you think of Infinity Ultron? Where do you think he came from? And do you think that he came from a different timeline? If he came from a different timeline, then what do you think are the ramifications of this event might be, and how do they relate not only to the Kangs, but the upcoming multiversal conflict as a whole? Anyway my friends, thank you guys so much for watching, your viewership means the world, hit that subscribe button to assemble and join our team, and have a great day. Are you interested in buying yourself some Marvel merch? Some amazing hoodies with your favorite character on it, like Spider-Man, Loki, and Venom. Go click the link in my description box now, and get some awesome discounts from 20% up to 60% off. They offer you free worldwide shipping on orders over $39.90. So, what are you waiting for? Link in the description.